What's cooking in Iceland? We introduce an explosion of flavors in this video with some of our favorite restaurants. Let's start with Kol restaurant in Reykjavik. It was our anniversary dinner, so we enjoyed some cocktails. I got the Grand Hatton, which almost resulted in disaster. But I saved it. <laughs> Sean got the penicillin. My main course was lamb filet with the most interesting and flavorful vegetables and blueberries I've ever tasted. I honestly don't remember what Sean had, but it was just as delicious. We shared a plate of truffle parmesan fries. The fries in Iceland are so, so good, just trust us. For dessert, we shared the chocolate brownie with a chocolate mint cocktail. Next, let's head to Apotek, also in Reykjavik. It was so good, we went twice. They have some of the weirdest yet tastiest cocktail combinations I have ever tried, like this Dylan-fused gin drink. First up, we have sourdough bread with truffle butter. Not once have I had average bread in Iceland. For starters, we had arctic char and lamb tartare. For the main course, we had the place, a sort of fish, and lamb rump steak. Out of all the delicious foods we have tried, Friedheimar Tomato Farm holds a very special place in my heart. This unique restaurant is inside a huge greenhouse where they grow tomatoes and make all sorts of the most delicious tomato-based foods. Granted that they have the freshest air and the best quality water, the tomatoes are almost too good to be true. The tomato soup was to die for, as was the bread. Sean had a tomato beer, which was probably the highlight after the tomato soup. And I had the Happy Mary cocktail, which was good too. We had a delicious salad and cheese and seafood skewers, which were okay. Something you will never hear in a restaurant here is still or sparkling, because water in Iceland is such high quality that each table gets bottomless ripples if they finish their water, like we did several times. Subscribe to our channel for more Iceland content and like this video if you enjoyed it.